the aviation industry has always revolved around one central challenge, how to fly farther and carry more while spending less. This challenge becomes most apparent when we look at super jumbos like the Airbus A380. Despite being a symbol of capacity and engineering brilliance, this giant has long struggled with high operating and fuel costs. As a result, the question of whether the A380 can ever achieve true economic revival remains open. Amid this uncertainty, a groundbreaking technological leap has emerged, CFM Rise. More than just the next generation of engines rise represents a potential answer to the economic and environmental challenges facing large aircraft. So how exactly could CFM Rise revolutionize aviation and change the game for giants like the A380? What can we expect from this transformative engine? Let's find out. CFM Rise Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines is the aviation industry's bold response to global pressure to reduce carbon emissions and improve economic efficiency. It represents the pinnacle of innovation, a direct answer to the worldwide effort to achieve net zero emissions by 2050 while opening up the possibility of reviving and making economically viable the operation of super-large aircraft such as the Airbus A380, which have long struggled with operating costs. The leap brought by RISE is truly impressive. This engine promises to cut fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions by more than 20% compared to current engines, a revolutionary figure. The key to unlocking this exceptional performance lies in its open fan architecture. Unlike traditional turbofan engines enclosed in a nacelle, this design removes the outer casing, allowing the fan blades to operate directly in open air. This enables CFM Rise to achieve an enormous bypass ratio of up to 21 significantly higher than the 12-1 ratio of today's CFM LEAP engines. A higher bypass ratio means the engine produces thrust more efficiently by accelerating a larger mass of slower air, significantly improving fuel economy. This performance difference is built upon a highly sophisticated engineering foundation combining a range of cutting-edge technologies. The engine features an impressive 13-foot around 4-meter rotor diameter, one of the most advanced open fan designs ever developed. To ensure that the massive blades can operate efficiently and safely, they are made from 3D woven carbon fiber composites, making them lightweight, durable, and capable of withstanding immense mechanical stress. However, the greatest challenge of open rotor technology in the past noise and mechanical complexity has been resolved by CFM with a refined architecture. Instead of using a complicated counter-rotating setup, this engine employs a simplified single rotor configuration combined with an active fixed stator system. These stators act like flow-straightening blades managing the swirling airflow generated by the main fan. Notably, they are equipped with variable pitch vanes allowing for precise aerodynamic control. This refinement not only optimizes fan pressure ratios and energy efficiency, but most importantly overcomes traditional drawbacks, enabling the engine to achieve noise levels comparable to the CFM LEAP and meet the world's strictest standards. Beyond its open fan architecture, CFM Rise integrates several advanced auxiliary systems to enhance overall efficiency. A gearbox connecting the turbine and the rotor allows each to operate at its optimal independent speed. The engine also features a heat recovery system that reuses energy loss through exhaust gases along with an integrated hybrid electric system. Together, these elements contribute to the targeted 20% reduction in fuel consumption. The breakthrough goes beyond mechanical design. The engine's hot section, which endures extreme heat and pressure, is built from next-generation aerospace materials including ceramic matrix composites, CMC, and high-performance metal alloys. CMCs are lighter and far more heat-resistant than conventional metal alloys, allowing the engine to operate at higher temperatures and thus achieve greater thermal efficiency without compromising strength or durability. Moreover, RISE carries a far greater mission. The engine was developed with a groundbreaking vision for the aviation industry focusing on long-term sustainability and environmental benefits. It represents a significant leap forward in reducing aviation's contribution to climate change thanks to its ability to substantially lower carbon dioxide emissions and other pollutants. This is achieved through the integration of advanced technologies and the use of alternative energy sources such as hydrogen and sustainable aviation fuel SAF. These solutions not only reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but also pave the way for a greener and more responsible future in aviation. In addition to its environmental advantages, the open rotor design provides airlines with strong economic benefits through superior fuel efficiency, helping reduce fuel costs which remain one of the largest operational expenses. For passengers, it delivers a smoother and quieter flying experience combining comfort with sustainability. Compared to competitors such as Pratt & Whitney's PW1000G, 
Rolls-Royce's Trent 1000, and CFM International's Leap the CFM Rise stands out by uniting performance sustainability and cutting-edge technology. Its advanced cooling systems, lightweight yet durable materials, and innovative architecture have set a new standard for efficiency and environmental protection. Looking ahead, the engine is expected to become a leading choice for both single-aisle and twin-aisle aircraft. Its widespread adoption will not only benefit airlines, but also foster innovation and investment across the aerospace sector, creating thousands of jobs, stimulating economic growth, and helping aviation progress toward true carbon neutrality. Looking back, the success of CFM Rise is not an accidental invention, but rather the successful revival of an idea first explored in the 1980s. Earlier efforts such as General Electric's GE36 and Pratt & Whitney Allison's 578DX demonstrated the fuel-saving potential of unducted fan engines, but were ultimately abandoned due to two major obstacles, excessive noise and the mechanical complexity of counter-rotating rotor systems. It wasn't until the 2000s, with major advances in materials science design engineering and especially computational fluid dynamics, that the open rotor concept became truly viable. Foundational research, including Safran's counter-rotating open-fan engine tests under Europe's Clean Sky program, demonstrated a 15% reduction in fuel consumption. Building on this foundation, GE and Safran refined the design, transitioning to a single rotor configuration with adjustable stators ultimately leading to the birth of CFM Rise, a perfected solution that eliminates all historical limitations. But which aircraft will Rise be equipped for? Interestingly, it is primarily designed for narrow-body aircraft such as the Airbus A320 or Boeing 737 to improve fuel efficiency, reduce carbon dioxide emissions, and cut operational costs for short to medium haul flights. However, although it is intended for narrow-body aircraft, this engine will be tested on the Airbus A380, one of the largest wide-body aircraft in operation today. This demonstrates that the engine technology has the potential to expand to wide-body aircraft in the future. The advanced architecture of the CFM engine provides flexibility in designing and deploying various aircraft types from single-aisle to twin-aisle planes better meeting the demands of modern air transportation. Testing on this super jumbo jet is a significant step, proving that open rotor engines can be adapted to meet the demanding requirements of larger aircraft while maintaining high performance and fuel efficiency. With this flexibility, CFM Rise could not only be a potential choice for narrow-body aircraft, but also a feasible option for wide-body aircraft marking a significant shift in the aviation industry and expanding the application of this new engine technology to various types of aircraft. In today's competitive context, CFM Rise and Rolls-Royce Ultrafan are the two leading pioneers of next-generation propulsion, but they target different market segments. While Ultrafan employs a geared turbofan architecture optimized for wide-body and long-haul aircraft with a bypass ratio of up to 15 in 1. RISE focuses on narrow-body aircraft, the most numerous and environmentally impactful segment. Its open-fan architecture not only offers superior fuel efficiency, but is also highly flexible supporting sustainable aviation fuel and even liquid hydrogen positioning it as a key solution for aviation's long-term environmental goals. With all these advancements, the engine is now entering its eagerly awaited testing phase. Ground tests are expected to begin mid-decade, followed by flight trials. Most notably, Airbus has partnered with CFM to test a hydrogen combustion version of the RISE engine on the Airbus A380. This move is not just symbolic, but also deeply significant, proving that it is more than just an engine for the next generation of narrow-body jets. It represents hope for a future where the giants of the sky can return flying sustainably and economically. The engine marks the dawn of a new era where superior engineering performance goes hand in hand with environmental responsibility. However, here comes the interesting part. Here's a question for you when it comes to the open fan architecture. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a fan blade broke? And how likely is it to happen? The absence of an external protective casing nacelle immediately raises reasonable concerns about the potential risk of blade fragments being thrown outward and striking the aircraft fuselage. A fan blade failure is an extremely serious event, but modern engines, especially radical designs like the CFM Rise, have been meticulously engineered to make this risk virtually impossible. Engine manufacturers do not rely solely on theoretical safety margins. They conduct rigorous real-world evaluations known as blade-out tests. This is a mandatory certification procedure in which engineers deliberately simulate a fan blade failure by detonating or cutting a blade to assess the engine's ability to contain the damage and maintain the aircraft's structural integrity. 
For CFMRI's multiple safety measures are integrated right from the material design to the operational mechanisms to minimize risk. A major safety advantage lies in the use of carbon fiber composite fan blades. These blades are not only significantly lighter but also release much less kinetic energy upon failure. In reality, composite fragments tend to break into smaller, softer pieces compared to rigid metal ones, substantially reducing potential impact force against the airframe. From a mechanical standpoint, the RISE design incorporates energy-absorbing zones and a containment structure. This reinforced static housing surrounds the rotor redirecting and absorbing the energy of large debris to prevent it from escaping the engine area and endangering the aircraft's structure. At the same time, if a blade failure is detected, advanced sensors automatically trigger an automatic shutdown system isolating the damaged engine instantly to prevent cascading failures and minimize vibration transmitted to the wing. Thanks to these breakthroughs in structural design, digital simulation, and advanced material safety, the risk of a fan blade failure posing a danger to the aircraft is now considered extremely low. These preventive innovations make the engine not only a symbol of performance, but also a new benchmark in reliability and safety for next-generation propulsion systems. Though hailed as the greatest breakthrough in commercial jet engine technology in decades, the CFM RISE project faces a formidable array of technical and systemic challenges. Unlocking its promised 20% fuel efficiency improvement from the open fan architecture requires solving the very issues that doomed similar projects in the past. The biggest challenge and the root of all others lies in the inherent trade-off between efficiency and noise. While the 21 bypass ratio offers unmatched fuel performance, it exposes the fan blades directly to free airflow generating far greater aerodynamic noise than conventional engines with enclosed nacelles. CFM's ambitious goal is to achieve noise levels equal to or lower than today's CFM LEAP engines. To make this possible, engineers rely on a highly complex combination of an active fixed stator system and variable pitch vanes to fine-tune airflow and reduce turbulence. However, the mechanical intricacy of this setup along with the aerodynamic precision required drives development costs and technical risks to extreme levels. Moreover, with an open rotor spanning 13 feet in diameter, safety and integration become paramount concerns. Although it uses lightweight, durable carbon fiber composite blades, the lack of a traditional containment casing requires an exceptionally strong static containment structure capable of absorbing the energy from a potential blade-out event and preventing debris from striking the aircraft fuselage. Besides, from an integration standpoint, the engine's sheer size presents serious ground clearance issues, especially when mounted on narrow-body aircraft such as the Airbus A320neo or Boeing 737 MAX. Designers must find ways to attach the engine closer to the wing or modify the landing gear design, adding both structural complexity and overall aircraft weight. Equally important even after certification rise will face significant operational barriers. First maintenance will be more complicated. With its large exposed fan maintenance procedures must be completely redesigned and mechanics retrained to handle advanced composite materials. The risk of foreign object damage may also increase due to the exposed fan blades. Second, airlines and airports will need to invest in new ground support equipment. The engine's unique size requires new lifting, towing, and removal tools adding to the initial operating costs for early adopters. Finally, though designed primarily for narrow-body jets, flight testing on the Airbus A380 presents a dual challenge proving scalability to wide-body aircraft while managing market expectations for a technology with no precedent. The success of RISE will ultimately depend on CFM's ability to turn these monumental challenges into viable engineering solutions, cementing its role as a cornerstone of next-generation aviation.